And neighbors team up to put a suspected methamphetamine lab out of business. Officials spent the morning dismantling the dangers on Batan Drive in Kettering, just west of Woodman. Dan Edwards was there, shows us what teamwork between residents and authorities helped to bring about. It was a wild riot as we were led to the scene of this early morning drug raid on Kettering's east side. Once we arrived, members of the Kettering Regional SWAT team had made their arrest. They've determined there was a meth lab, gentleman inside, had been selling and making meth. Well, that uh, gentleman is Michael Saunders Sr., who now sits in the back of this Kettering police cruiser, thanks to tips from neighbors. We've had our suspicions and everything, seeing a guy walk back and forth from his house to this house. So we've been saying stuff that there's probably something going on here. Before members of the Bureau of Criminal Investigation can get inside the house to process evidence, Kettering firemen must first do their job. The house is in deplorable conditions. That's uh, Kettering Fire Department's here. Uh, there's water standing in the basement. That standing water could have electrocuted SWAT members as well as two dogs who await rescue. Having kids around this area and that kind of activity going on in our neighborhood is something we definitely don't want with kids running around the neighborhood. So again, citizens getting involved. Absolutely. It's, you know, it's you know, looking out for neighbors, you know, neighborhood watch, uh, people that are concerned, want to clean up their community and uh, make a difference. I'm glad they finally uh, ended up catching them and hopefully putting someone behind bars because we don't want this kind of stuff in our neighborhood. Anna Kettering, Dan Edwards, 2 News.